Welcome to SCI Discovery Chronicles. In today's episode, we're diving deep into the microscopic world to explore one of the most fascinating and influential branches of science, microbiology. Prepare to be amazed as we uncover the hidden universe of microorganisms and their profound impact on our world. This vast and diverse group includes bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa, and algae. Despite their minuscule size, these microorganisms play crucial roles in every aspect of life on Earth, from shaping our planet's ecosystems to influencing human health and even driving technological innovations. Our journey into the world of microbiology begins with a trip back in time. The field of microbiology, as we know it today, was born in the 17th century with the invention of the microscope. Antony van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch draper and scientist, was the first to observe and describe single-celled organisms, which he called animalcules. His groundbreaking observations laid the foundation for the field of microbiology. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that microbiology truly came into its own as a scientific discipline. Louis Pasteur, often called the father of microbiology, made several crucial discoveries that revolutionized our understanding of microorganisms. He disproved the theory of spontaneous generation, showing that microorganisms come from other microorganisms, not from non-living matter. Pasteur also developed the process of pasteurization, which uses heat to kill harmful bacteria in food and drinks, greatly improving food safety. Around the same time, Robert Koch made significant contributions to the field by developing methods for culturing bacteria and proving that specific microorganisms cause specific diseases. His work led to the identification of the bacteria responsible for anthrax, tuberculosis, and cholera, among others. Koch's postulates, a set of criteria for determining whether a microorganism causes a specific disease, remain fundamental to microbiology and epidemiology to this day. As we delve deeper into the world of microorganisms, let's start with bacteria, perhaps the most well-known group of microbes. Bacteria are single-celled organisms found in virtually every environment on Earth, from the deepest ocean trenches to the harshest deserts, and even inside our own bodies. They come in a variety of shapes, including spheres cochi, rods bacilli, and spirals spirilla. While many people associate bacteria with disease, it's crucial to understand that the vast majority of bacteria are either harmless to humans or beneficial. In fact, the human body is home to trillions of bacteria, collectively known as the microbiome. These microorganisms play vital roles in our health, aiding in digestion, producing essential vitamins, and even influencing our immune system and mental health. In the environment, bacteria are essential players in nutrient cycling. For example, nitrogen-fixing bacteria in soil convert atmospheric nitrogen into forms that plants can use, while decomposer bacteria break down dead organic matter, returning nutrients to the ecosystem. Some bacteria can even photosynthesize, producing oxygen just like plants do. Next, let's turn our attention to viruses, entities that straddle the line between living and non-living. Viruses are even smaller than bacteria and can only replicate inside the cells of other organisms. They consist of genetic material DNA or RNA enclosed in a protein coat called a capsid and some also have an outer lipid envelope. Viruses are infamous for causing diseases from the common cold to more severe illnesses like COVID-19, HIV AIDS, and Ebola. However, viruses also play important ecological roles. For instance, viruses that infect bacteria, called bacteriophages, help regulate bacterial populations in ecosystems. Some viruses can even transfer genes between different species, contributing to genetic diversity and evolution. The study of viruses, known as virology, has led to numerous medical advancements. Vaccines, which train our immune systems to recognize and fight specific viruses, have saved countless lives and even led to the eradication of smallpox. More recently, our understanding of how viruses work has led to exciting developments in gene therapy and cancer treatment. Moving on to fungi, we enter a kingdom of organisms that includes mushrooms, molds, and yeasts. Fungi play crucial roles in ecosystems as decomposers, breaking down dead organic matter and recycling nutrients. They also form important symbiotic relationships with plants. Mycorrhizal fungi, for example, help plants absorb water and nutrients from the soil in exchange for sugars produced by the plant. In the realm of human affairs, fungi have both positive and negative impacts. 
Some fungi cause diseases in plants, animals, and humans, such as athlete's foot or crop blights. However, fungi are also used in the production of many foods and beverages, including bread, cheese, and beer. In medicine, fungi have given us important antibiotics like penicillin, revolutionizing the treatment of bacterial infections. Protozoa, single-celled eukaryotes organisms with a nucleus, represent another fascinating group of microorganisms. These diverse creatures can be found in almost every aquatic environment and in the soil. Some protozoa cause diseases, such as malaria, which is caused by a protozoan parasite transmitted by mosquitoes. However, many protozoa play important roles in aquatic food chains and help regulate bacterial populations in ecosystems. Algae, which can range from microscopic single cells to large seaweeds, are crucial primary producers in aquatic ecosystems. They produce a significant portion of the world's oxygen through photosynthesis and form the base of many aquatic food chains. Microscopic algae, or phytoplankton, are particularly important in marine ecosystems and play a key role in global carbon cycling. One exciting field is metagenomics, which involves studying the genetic material recovered directly from environmental samples. This approach allows scientists to study microorganisms that can't be cultured in the lab, providing new insights into microbial diversity and function in various ecosystems. Another frontier in microbiology is the study of extremophiles, microorganisms that thrive in extreme environments such as hot springs, deep-sea hydrothermal vents, or highly acidic lakes. These remarkable organisms are not only expanding our understanding of the limits of life, but also have potential applications in biotechnology. Enzymes from heat-loving bacteria, for example, are used in PCR polymerase chain reaction, a crucial technique in molecular biology. The field of synthetic biology, which involves redesigning organisms to give them new abilities, is another area where microbiology is pushing boundaries. Scientists are engineering bacteria to produce biofuels, clean up pollution, or even act as living sensors to detect disease. These developments hold promise for addressing global challenges in energy, environment, and health. Microbiology also plays a crucial role in the development of new antibiotics, a pressing need in the face of rising antibiotic resistance. In the realm of human health, the study of the microbiome has emerged as a major focus of research. Scientists are uncovering the myriad ways in which our microbial partners influence our health, from metabolism to immune function to mental health. This research is leading to new therapeutic approaches, such as fecal microbiota transplants for treating certain gut disorders or the development of probiotics tailored to individual health needs. Environmental microbiology is another crucial area of study, especially in the context of global climate change. Microorganisms play key roles in global carbon and nitrogen cycles, and changes in microbial communities can have far-reaching effects on ecosystem function and climate. Understanding these processes is essential for predicting and mitigating the impacts of climate change. In agriculture, microbiology is driving innovations in sustainable farming practices. From developing microbial fertilizers to harnessing beneficial soil microbes for crop protection, these approaches aim to reduce chemical inputs and improve soil health. Similarly, in food production, starter cultures of carefully selected microorganisms are used to produce a wide range of fermented foods, from yogurt to sauerkraut to artisanal cheeses. The field of astrobiology, which searches for life beyond Earth, also relies heavily on microbiology. By studying extremophiles on Earth, scientists gain insights into the potential forms life might take on other planets. Microbiology informs the design of experiments for detecting life on other worlds and helps us understand the potential for transferring life between planets. As we look to the future, the field of microbiology continues to evolve rapidly, driven by technological advancements. High-throughput sequencing technologies are allowing us to catalog microbial diversity at an unprecedented scale, while new imaging techniques are providing detailed views of microbial structures and interactions. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are being applied to analyze the vast amounts of data generated by these studies, helping to uncover patterns and generate new hypotheses. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the critical importance of microbiology in public health and has accelerated developments in areas such as rapid diagnostics, vaccine development, and antiviral therapies. It has also underscored the need for continued vigilance and research to prepare for future pandemics. As we conclude our journey through the microscopic world, it's clear that despite their small size, microorganisms have an outsized impact on our world. 
From the air we breathe to the food we eat, from our health to the global climate, microbes are key players in countless processes that shape our planet and our lives. The study of microbiology not only helps us understand and manipulate these processes, but also continually expands our understanding of life itself. As we uncover the incredible diversity and capabilities of microorganisms, we're constantly amazed by the ingenuity of nature and inspired to develop new technologies and solutions based on microbial processes. So the next time you look at a drop of pond water or a handful of soil, remember that you're looking at a bustling microbial metropolis teeming with life and activity. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration of the microbial world. Remember, in science, every answer leads to new questions, and there's always more to discover. Until next time, this is SCI Discovery Chronicles, encouraging you to keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep marveling at the wonders of our world, both seen and unseen. The adventure continues.